Well, the college football season is in full force. We are just moving along week after week here, hanging out at the Texas State Fair just outside of the Cotton Bowl with Kenneth Murray, who is a current NFL player for the Chargers. But a lot of connections to this game right here. And this conversation is coming from our custom ESPN college football sprinter van and is presented by Mercedes-Benz. So, Kenneth, being here at the Cotton Bowl, what are the feelings that come over you? I know you played in several of these big rivalry games. Yeah, um, uh, definitely, you know, grateful to be back. Um, um, but this place is special. Um, playing in this game is special. Obviously, it's um, two programs that are, you know, you know, very rich with tradition. Um, and so, um, you know, being back here is, is something that's, that's special for me. But, you know, I'm excited to see my guys go out there and uh, play a great game tomorrow. Um, and, yeah, it's just nothing like this game. I think it's the greatest rivalry in college football. Um, you know, seeing that stadium split down the middle at the 50-yard line between the crimson and the burnt orange that we don't like. But, um, yeah, it's it's exciting to be back. Well, I'm glad you said that because your guys are the Sooners. You grew up in Texas, went to Oklahoma. Let's go back in the DeLorean, take me into the time machine. What was that decision like for you to decide to go across the border playing Norman when you were from Texas. Did you get a lot of grief? Was there a lot of, like, hand-wringing that went into that? Uh, not really. I mean, it was pretty easy for me. Um, I mean, if I'm being honest, my parents wanted me to go to Texas. Um, I got the the Texas offer probably uh, a month before I got the Oklahoma offer. Um, we had seen Texas. Um, we went and visited. My parents really wanted me to go there. A lot of people wanted me to go there. Um, but always in the back of my mind, I knew I was an Oklahoma guy. Um, just growing up watching the All Access, um, you know, seeing those guys like Kenny Stills and um, all the people that were on All Access ESPN growing up on YouTube, I would watch that religiously. So um, it was pretty easy. Once I got the OU offer, I remember, you know, my dad was on the phone. We both were on the phone with, with Coach Stoops and at the time the linebacker coach Tim Kish. Um, and I just remember as soon as we hung up the phone, I told him that's where I was going. It was a done deal. And so, I mean, we went and did a visit in July of, I can't remember what year it was. And then it was it was a done deal. And so yeah. The Brent Venables era underway at Oklahoma. He obviously is a defensive-minded yeah. guy. What have you seen from these defenses? How have you seen them evolve with him at the helm? Man, um, they're playing great defense right now. And I think it's kind of kind of a thing that you, you, you see, you know, in his system. You know, obviously, you know, he was a, a hell of a coach for us early in the early 2000s with amazing defenses, a lot of guys that went to the NFL. And then obviously him going to Clemson, you see kind of early on, you know, they, they, they struggle a little bit. And then in that second year, it's like all of a sudden they take off. And I think that's the same thing you're seeing with this Oklahoma defense, um, him getting the guys in there that he wants to be in there. Um, and, you know, everybody's comfortable with the system, running around, flying around. I think that's what you're seeing right now. And so I love watching those guys watch, watching those guys play every week. Um, you know, they're, they make me proud. They make me a proud, proud Oklahoma Sooner, so for sure. A lot of people talk about Quinn Ewers when it comes to this matchup. He obviously the quarterback for the Texas team. But Dylan Gabriel is a heck of a talent. Not a lot of people know about him or have watched him very closely. What do you see on film from your quarterback? Man, he's a guy that can that can throw the ball down the field. Um, he's a general. I think that's really the biggest thing I see from him is that he's a general. He's a guy that he's getting everybody lined up. Um, he's he, he's telling everybody what to do, and he's 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 facilitating the offense. I think that's what you want out of a quarterback. Um, obviously, he can push it down the field, um, and so I think ultimately that's what we're going to see tomorrow. I mean, they like to get in out get in and out of plays um, really really fast, and so. You know, you need a guy that's going to be a general back there, a guy that can tell everybody what to do, get everybody lined up, and be successful. This Red River rivalry will be the last year that Texas and Oklahoma are both in the Big 12, right. headed to the SEC, of course. What do you make of all the realignment and the expansion of the playoff? It's not the same college yeah, football that you played. What are your reactions to the changes? Man, it's it's different. That's all I can say. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, me being in the Big 12 all three years and then college football playoff four teams and now it's expanding and everybody's going to the SEC it's just different even NIL all that stuff is, is just different um, I think it's good I think you know the players are obviously going to be able to you know get what they deserve and then obviously we're going to have some big time college football games with you know 
you know, big schools like OU and Texas going to the SEC with like Bama, LSU. So, um, you know, as a competitor, you love it because I mean, it's just, it's just more competition, being able to compete with the best. Um, and I think, you know, playing in Oklahoma, you know, that's that's all we want to do is compete with the best. And so, being able to get that opportunity. I think you know, everybody loves it. You've been in the NFL for a bit now, Kenneth. And um, when you have guys in your locker room who played for one of those other teams, oh, like yeah. a Texas, oh, yeah. how do you handle them this week? You chatting? You oh, making yeah. bets? Like, what, what is the chatter between NFL players who went to rivalry programs? Yeah, we're not making bets. Um, cause obviously, you know, NFL is really, really strict on their gambling <laughs> policy. Thank um, you for being <laughs> clear on that. We appreciate but that. We're definitely, we're definitely, you know, giving each other, you know, you know, some healthy, healthy chatter. Um, um, you know, I have one Texas guy on my team who, fortunately, is, is my kicker, um, um, Dicker the Kicker. Um, and so he's, he's made some pretty big-time kits for, for them um, in years past. And so, you know, I'm always, you know, showing them love, letting them know that it's, you know, horns down for, for forever. And so uh, it's pretty fun, you know, obviously being able to, you know, be in a locker room with guys from all over the place and be able to talk smack here and there. Um, so, yeah, we enjoy it. Before we let you go, give me your top four teams, the top four teams you think will be in the college football playoff at the end of the year. You can go with your Oklahoma Sooners. Oh, yeah. That's obviously, oh, yeah. that's a given. For sure. What other teams have impressed you this year that you think, think will be Oklahoma, there at the end? Oklahoma will be there. I think, uh, I really like, you know, Georgia, obviously. They're, they're a really good team. Um, I think USC in the Pac-12. Okay. Well, Caleb Williams. Yeah. Caleb Williams is nice, man. I mean, he's looking really good. Um, and then I think the last one, I'd probably say, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I want to know. You like a Washington? You like a Big Ten team? Mm -hmm. I'll Michigan. take that as a no. Michigan. 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 I've, I've Harbaugh seen a couple, back. I've seen a couple of Michigan games. They look pretty good. So Especially with Harbaugh yeah, back on the sideline, sure. right? Feel like yeah. they're a different team now Absolutely. when he's out there yeah, running the their, ship. Got their head coach back. So, yeah, I can, I can see that for sure. All right. It has been great chatting with you. Appreciate you hanging out. Enjoy the game. Enjoy the rivalry. This conversation from our custom ESPN College Football Sprinter Van is presented by Mercedes-Benz. Thank you, Kenneth Murray. Absolutely. Thank you for having me.